Hey, what's going on? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to be releasing my newest auto clicker. Um, this is actually probably my fifth time trying to record this because I'm very rusty, which actually brings up the whole point of why I'm releasing this auto clicker today. And that's because I'm going to be doing some auto hotkey tutorials later on this weekend, and uh, I'm feeling very rusty, so I need something to get some of the rust off. So, anyways, I'm going to be releasing this auto clicker. It's in very early development, and normally I wouldn't release something in this early of development, but like I said, I need some, um, get some of my rust off. So, uh, I might miss a couple of things. Hopefully I won't, but uh, there is a possibility that I'll miss a couple of fine details on when I explain how to set it up and what it does, blah, 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 because I've already said it like half a dozen times. Okay, so over the last year that I've been creating auto uh, auto clickers, um, a request that I've commonly gotten is, can I create an auto clicker that will allow you to click on inactive windows? So that is a window that is currently not active, so you can do other things on your computer while the auto clicker does its thing. So that's this. Um, if you don't, this is going to require, um, this is only going to be available in paste form, so you're going to need to have auto hotkey on your computer in order for you to run this. If you don't have auto hotkey, just Google search it and go to their site and download it. It's the scripting software or the programming language that this is written in, so in order for you to run this, because I'm not making it as an executable, you're going to need to have auto hotkey on your computer in order to actually create a script. So that out of the way, uh, let me run this. So like I said, this auto clicker clicks on inactive windows and I've set it up to kind of mirror the, let me see if I can find it. Um, the basic layout is much like my 10-in-1 uh, auto clicker, which is available on my channel. If you go to my home page, um, you can you'll find a video about it, and in it, it has a download link. It's only available as a download, so it's uh, this. If you don't care that a window is active and you want to have much of the features that this has, like clicking in different positions, um, I recommend that you get the 10-in-1 auto clicker instead, or get both of these. But uh, if you don't care that your cursors, you can't use your cursor while it's on and you don't care if the window is active while it's running. I recommend getting the 10 in 1 because it's more it's uh, more polished than uh, the new one. But uh, like I said, you can get both of them. This one is only available as a download. I used to have it as a paste, but I got rid of the paste. Okay, so anyways, I'll go into I'll go over if you've never read, uh, used auto hotkey scripts before near the end of the video I'll go over how to actually get a copy of this put it into a new script and how to run it but th like I said this is a very early prototype and uh, I encountered when I was creating this I, I decided to do some testing on different windows see how it behaved and everything and I came across a few different behaviors um, so I'll try to quickly go over what kind of things that you might encounter and how to work around them or work with them. So first of all, you might come across applications that have a title that changes. So up here I have a zero cookie, says the title, and now it's one cookie. So in this case, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change the title once I add it. So the first thing I need to do in order for this auto clicker to work is I set the target window. So I'm going to hit set window and then double click on the application. It could be a game, it could be any kind, it could be a browser page like this, it could be something like un paint, untitled paint, it could be anything like that. Just set that as your target and then if you encounter an application like this where the title changes periodically, what you'll need to do is edit the title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to get rid of that and there we go. I'm, because I've made changes to this, I need to hit update for those changes to take effect. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a delay in between clicks. This is in milliseconds, so depend. the lower the number, the faster you want it to click. The higher the number, the slower you want it to click. So for example, if I want it to click once per second, I would set this to 1000. 
right? If I want to wait 10 seconds, it's 10,000, 60 seconds, et cetera, et cetera. So if I want this to click, let's say, 20 times per second, I would set this to about 50 milliseconds, okay? So that's about 20 clicks per second. Most of the time, you're going to want it to loop through over and over and over again. So hit loop, <clears throat> and now I can set up to 10 different positions. So it's basically 10 different auto clickers built into one. So I'm going to do is I'm going to set a position that I want to click. So I'll set over there, and I'll set over there, and I'll set over there. Next, I'll set how many times I want to click each of those locations. So I'll set it to click lots over here and then only a few times over there. So 555, five, five, and then once, and then once. Now that I have that set up, I need to actually enable those particular auto clickers. So you can dis enable or disable any of these positions that you want just by turning it on. All right, so now it'll, if I turn, if I have those off, it'll only click in the first position. If I turn this one on, now it clicks both of those and so on and so forth. Okay, just make sure you have a position and account for any auto clicker that you enable. So if I was tr try to run it right now, it'll probably say I need to set the position or something like that. <clears throat> okay, so this application um, works how you would expect. So if I start the auto clicker now, let me see if I have everything right. If I start it now, you should start to see this climb as the auto clicker runs. Even though my cursor is right here, it's still going to click on that page. And I can actually use my hotkeys, or I can use the buttons up here, I can use my hotkeys to actually hide this window. And even though the window is hidden, so here, I'll actually I'll stop the auto clicker. So it's at 301 cookies. I'll hide the window. I'll start the auto clicker. And I'll give it a couple of seconds. So it was at 301. I'll stop the auto clicker, bring it back. And now it's up to 421. So even though the window wasn't even active, even though my cursor wasn't moving around, my cursor wasn't clicking on anything, it still clicked on this application wherever I want it to. And I'll actually, let me hide the window again. And I'll start it and I'll let it run for a couple of seconds. <clears throat> so this is the, the typical behavior that you'll expect, uh, I, I, or rather I expect most applications. And lots of the applications that I've done testing w with, it behaved exactly like this. All right, that should be good. All right, so the auto clicker works perfectly <clears throat> with the window hidden. With I can switch, if I start the auto clicker, I can switch to another tab. What I can't do though is if I was to switch to another browser like this, so here I have two two instances of Chrome. If I was to try to switch to the other one, it's just going to bring this one back, and which is why I added the ability to hide this window. So I can, let's say, <clears throat> let me see, I'll stop this. What I would do if I was to run it, I would probably just put this in its, uh, its own tab. I'll start it, and then I can hide it, and it'll run in the background, and I can do whatever I want. I can... Uh, You know, watch videos, do whatever I want, and the auto clicker is going to be working in the background. And if I want to bring it back, I just hit the number pad one, and it brings it back. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is the typical one. Um, one of the other things that I had encountered, and which isn't quite as common. Let me make, let me uh, bring this window over there again. This is another kind of applications where its behavior is is bizarre. So with this kind of application, and this is a, a rare thing. I don't I don't know how often you're going to encounter this, but regardless of wherever I set this position, if I start this auto clicker here, let me set this as the window. Regardless of wherever I set that position, so I have it set to click over here. I think I do. Okay. If I start the auto clicker, it's actually going to click wherever I move my cursor. So I can't use the 10 in 1 auto clicker. I can only use one auto clicker at a time. And it's going to click wherever I move my cursor if the window is active. But, but if I was to actually move my cursor here, then start the auto clicker, and then hide the window, now that the window is hidden, I can actually move my cursor around. And it's only going to click where I had my cursor when I hit the window. So even though my cursor is over here, it's still going to be clicking over here on that other window. So this is another kind of, like I said, it behaves different depending on the application, but for the most part it behaves like that cookie clicker game. Okay, so 
that's one of the kind of the other kind of thing that you'll encounter where it doesn't care where you set the position it behaves however it wants um, perhaps when I update this I'll come up with workarounds that will actually make it behave the way it's supposed to but for now I didn't want to I only spent like an hour working on this program so I didn't uh, bother looking into how to fix this kind of thing so just know that if you might encounter sometimes where it clicks it regardless of where you set it it'll click wherever you want but you can get around that by only using one auto cl clicker putting your cursor there when you start it and then hiding that window another application that has a slightly different behavior but it's more more or less it behaves the same way as that cookie clicker did is something like this so this is another kind of application perhaps it's some other game that you have or some other thing that you're doing with it where it won't click if the window is hidden so let me go through and I'll set up the different positions and like I said I, I've ran this a couple of times I've done this demo a couple of times but I want to make sure that uh, when you get this you're not surprised if it doesn't at some of the behaviors that it has okay so I've set those positions and I'll change the color to red so if I start this now let me change this to one I'll change this to a little bit slower so it's click slower when I do updates to this I might make it so that way you can do all of these at once and check all of these at once or perhaps have it so that way you can check the first five or all ten or etc cetera, etc cetera. so I'll make some improvements if I if I do this again but if I run this for hours spending two minutes setting this up isn't really a big deal okay so if I run this now I have the color I'll make it yellow actually you know what here I'll get rid of these so if I run the auto clicker now it'll click uh, oh my bad I, I forgot to change the window set window and I need to do that okay so if I run the cl auto clicker now now that I have it set to actually click on this window if I hit start you'll see that it adds those black dots but where it doesn't work is if I was to hide this window so here you can see the window here if I hide it you can't see it anymore if I start the auto clicker now it's not actually going to do anything so I'll give it a couple of seconds I think I had it changed to red so that should be long enough I'll, hi I'll stop it I'll bring that window back and it's still only black but what I can do is I can actually just switch to another window and now if I start it even though I'm not on that window it'll behave as I expect it to but like I said it doesn't work if the window is hidden okay so I'll stop it and if I come back over here it should be all red dots now there we go okay so that's three examples of different kind of behaviors that I've encountered in the multiple testing that I've done most of the time it behaves exactly like the cookie clicker game with the exception of the title changing which I showed you how to change the title um, <clears throat> so you can have it click and have it on a minimized window an inactive window etc etc all right um, so if you've never ran auto hotkey scripts before I'll go over quickly now how to actually get this and put it onto your computer so in the in the description there's gonna be a link to a pastebin page so pastebin is a site that allows you to share text documents so I've created a text document with the script in it just go to the very bottom where it says raw paste data click anywhere in there and hit control plus a and then control plus C to put it into your clipboard go to anywhere you want to put this auto clicker on your computer so I'm gonna put it on my desktop for because I'm gonna delete it afterwards and then right click and go to new and as long as you have auto hotkey you'll get this option to create a new auto hotkey script go ahead click that you'll get this change the name to whatever you want I'm calling this the ghost clicker so you can put that as what you put the name as I'm just gonna put this as temp GC temp goes clicker okay once you have that I have a I have a nice script editor so depending on if you're doing any scripting you might have a script editor um, 
but if I was to go to edit this now it's automatically going to open it up in my script editor but you might not have the script editor so I'm going to show you how to do it without that. If you were to right click on this you'll get the option to edit the script. If you don't have a script editor or notepad plus plus or something like that it'll buy I think by default it's going to open up a notepad text document so what I'm going to do is to make sure that you understand everything that's going on I'm just going to use notepad for this example so I'm going to go to notepad and I'm going to navigate to where I created that script so that's on my desktop and I called it temp uh, all files temp GC so go into editing and at the very top of the new script you're gonna have these four lines go ahead and delete those and then paste in the script that you copied off of the out of here so paste that in and then save it now that you have it saved you can go ahead and close the script and then go to wherever you have it so I have it here you can either double click on it or you can right click and at the very top you should get the option to run script go ahead and run the script there you go and I already showed you how to set it up so you're good to go um, I'm gonna be making some adjustments to this over the next couple of weeks months who knows how long it'll take me to actually do the updates to it and create new versions of it but if you have any features that you would like to see added to it be sure to leave a comment down below um, there's no guarantee that I'll use your suggestion but if you don't say anything then it's guaranteed your suggestion is not going to get used right so, like I said, if you want, if you see any features that you'd like to see added, um, perhaps you might want to have more clicks, uh, positions, blah, 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 right, whatever, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I create lots and lots of auto clickers. Um, I have some very nice ones. Uh, this one is my newest one. Let me see. one of my newest ones um, this one is currently only available for subscribers but it has a lot of features on this that are really um, really nice uh, amazing blah 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 um, but uh, I have tons and tons of different auto clickers that are designed for different tasks and you can find them on my home page by scrolling to the best free auto clickers thing and you can either play all or you can scroll over and get the list and see which auto clickers because there's tons and tons of different ones that do different things that are designed for different tasks this one is designed to click on windows that aren't active but I have other ones that are designed to do other things so um, don't just settle for this one check out my other stuff and see which ones suit your particular needs alright have a good day see you guys in the next one